Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay from Scratch and today we have a funeral of sorts. Yes, we have an application that is going to the dustbin in the sky and that is Fleet. This, what you see in front of you, I am Fleet. I was created to take on Visual Studio Code. I accidentally hit the caps lock key. I fail. Yeah. So that's basically the story of Fleet in just a few words. Now Fleet was basically going to be a lightweight editor slash extensible quasi IDE. Sort of the same role that Visual Studio Code currently fills. Thing is, it just didn't work, especially because they actually make a broad variety of different tools. So um, they already make IDEs for just about everything, and Fleet didn't make a whole lot of sense. For one, Fleet wasn't particularly small. I think it was about a half a gigabyte in size. And even more obnoxious, it required you to install their toolbox in order to get it up and running. Things that definitely did not go for it. But the big thing at the end of the day is it just didn't fill a niche. Visual Studio Code did what Visual Studio Code does. And truth of the matter is, since Fleet was launched, there have been like 30 forks of Visual Studio Code, as well as various different competitors to Visual Studio Code. It is a crowded space. And if you are makers of a lot of commercial development tools, like you see here, the key ones being in the world of game development, probably C Lion, Rider, and of course, IntelliJ. Uh, if you make all these products right now, where is a currently free lightweight IDE going to fit into your ecosystem? And the answer is, well, it isn't. So if you want to go ahead and check out Fleet for whatever reason you might want to, all well, what you might find is you don't have a lot of time left. So you can go ahead, you can download it right now, by the way. It is free while in the download phase. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux for a very short period of time. Now, annoyingly enough, again, you do need to install the Toolbox app in order to install Fleet. And then you will notice up here on the 22nd of December, it will no longer be available for download. So if you want to get it, get it now. So Fleet is effectively dead. So Fleet started as their attempt to explore a new generation of JetBrain IDEs developed in parallel with those based on the IntelliJ platform. Over time, we learned that having two general purpose IDE families created confusion and diluted our focus. Rebuilding the full capabilities of IntelliJ uh, based IDEs inside Fleet did not uh, create enough value and positioning Fleet as yet another editor did not justify maintaining two overlapping product lines. And thus, it is being killed. So Fleet versus IntelliJ-based uh, IDEs. For many years, JetBrains focused on IntelliJ-based IDEs, which served as the primary environment for most developers. When we started Fleet, our goal was to explore a lighter architecture, a modern UI, and a more flexible environment free from decades of legacy architecture decisions. It was a worthwhile experiment, and for many, uh, for, for both a technical and design perspective, it was a success. Uh, many Fleet components now power JetBrain IDEs, and several UX and UI concepts have been adopted throughout their product lineup. However, Fleet did not, exceed, did not succeed as a standalone product. We could neither replace IntelliJ IDE with Fleet nor narrow it into a clear, differentiated niche. We suddenly had two IDE families aimed at largely the same audience with overlapping purpose. Users kept asking which one to choose, and the answer was never short or satisfying. Two similar products create friction and raise questions about ownership and long-term investment. So what did they try to do with Fleet? Initially position Fleet as a lightweight multi-language IDE and then as an editor with smart coding assistance, <coughs> Visual Studio Code, <coughs> Uh, for some time, uh, we seriously considered whether Fleet could become a second flagship IDE family alongside IntelliJ IDE, uh, IntelliJ based tools. User feedback was consistent. If you already work with IntelliJ ID, uh, IDEA, Rider, WebStorm, PyCharm, or any of the other IDEs, switching to Fleet required a strong reason, and Fleet did not offer enough value to justify the transition from the IDE you already know and love. When AI mature, we explored Fleet as an AI-first editor. We built new workflows and conducted large-scale user research to understanding potential differentiation and long-term value. We confirmed that another AI editor would not stand out, again, in this space, you've got a lot of products like Cursor, etc., uh, that have been forked off of Visual Studio Code, which they, they mention right here. There are just a filled market of Visual Studio Code forks, specifically for AI development. I became increasingly clear that the best path forward was to strengthen AI workflows in their existing IDEs. However, rapid progress in AI revealed a different niche where Fleet fits, fits much more nat naturally. So what does this new niche look like? Well, working on AI within the editor, a new development workflow began to take shape. Developers started delegating meaningful tasks to agents, updating tests, cleaning code, refactoring modules, exploring unfamiliar code paths, and even building new features. The 
These tasks run async and return full patches. The developer doesn't write the code themselves. They guide the agent and review its output. This is fundamentally different from the classic IDE workflows, which is based on immediate feedback, uh, synchronous control, and a single stable local state. Agentic loop relies on structured task definition, uh, context assembly, multiple asynchronous runs, isolated execution, and review first workflows. Combining them in a single tool resulted in a disjointed experience, so the fleet team chose to stop competing with IDEs and code editors and instead build a product focus on agentic workflows. This led to a pivot to a new product, an agentic development environment based on the fleet platform. This new environment will ship as a new product with a new name. The technology team and long-term direction continue, but the product identity entity and market evolve. This is just the same stupid mistake they made with Fleet. They're building all this AI agentic stuff into their main IDEs as well. So why are you making this? Uh, anyways, so what does this mean for Fleet users? Uh, we will stop releasing any further updates for Fleet. Uh, distribution will also end, so you will no longer be able to download Fleet from the Toolbox app or other channels starting on December 22nd, 2025. So you got a week or two to pick this one up if you still want to grab it for some reason. If you already downloaded Fleet, you can continue to use it. However, some features that rely on the server-side services, including the AI assistance, uh, may stop working over time. We will continue to share updates about the new product as the work progresses. Stay tuned. So, uh, uh, give me your opinion on this one. This this sort of sounds exactly like uh, uh, they're making the exact same mistake they did when they made Fleet in the first place, uh, but now it's uh, an agentic editor as opposed to an alternative IDE. Because you're going to keep building this stuff into all of your other tools as well. I, I don't get it. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. Uh, JetBrains Fleet is now dead as a dodo. Actually, that's a lie. It is going to be dead as a dodo in about two weeks' time. But truth of the matter is, Fleet hasn't been updated, I don't think, since May. So uh, not a huge shock here, but I'm curious. Did you use Fleet? Did you like Fleet? Are you going to miss Fleet, or do you not give a damn? Also, what? let me know what you think. Are they going to make the same mistake here that they already made? It sure sounds like it to me, but I might just be reading this wrong. Let me know. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.